For all my team coins, check out thefootshop.com. Their link is in the description below. And they have brand new methods to transfer your coins over to your account in record time. Use the discount code NEPO at checkout. What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to the Fallen Heroes of FIFA. So I was asking on Twitter the last couple of days after just talking to a few people about a few players that used to be great, about who you guys used to use in FIFA 11, 12, 13 and 14 who are now shit in FIFA. There's a lot of players we couldn't have in this video today due to them not being in FIFA like Alex Pato, like Robinho, like Fabrizio Micoli. Um, uh, you know, there, there's quite a lot of guys basically who we just can't have. But we've built a team of fallen heroes and for the life of me, I don't know why, but we're going to play a game with it. Before we get into this, if you can drop a thumbs up, that would be absolutely awesome. Let's try and get this over 7,000 likes. I would appreciate that, guys. And of course, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. So, these are the fallen heroes we've gone with. I'm going to start with the bench and we've got Jimmy Briand. Now, if you guys don't know about these players, if you're not that new, if you're new to FIFA, if you've never played with these, go on to Foothead. Find these players on Foothead and use their like history tab to go back and look at how good their cards were in previous FIFAs. But Briand was a player who used to have blistering pace and was fun to play with. Carlos Eduardo, now four-star skill moves, used to have five-star skill moves, used to be a gold card and used to be really, really good. He now only has one stat above 70, which is really disappointing. Gibriel Sissi, another one who just used to have blistering pace and a great shot. He used to be a good BPL striker for like five, six, seven hundred coins. It used to come up against him just unbelievable amounts of times, but he has lost his je ne sais quoi. French, because he's French, French. And next we've got Wellington. So Wellington was one of those guys that was like in about eight out of every team you played against in FIFA 11 and FIFA 12. He was just unbelievably good. He does have an inform this year. Um, he's got three star, three star, whereas I do believe he used to have four star skill moves. He's still got an okay pace, but his shooting and dribbling is shocking. Who would use him? I don't know. Maicon Liete, another one who just used to be an absolute shoe in for any Brazilian team that he used to have. His old card was a right wing. He also had five star skill moves. He's lost everything he had about him, except for once again, his pace. He is now a striker card, but without those five-star skill moves, nobody is just really interested in him. Fernando Torres used to have a fantastic card. S Vine, one of those guys who again was just in all your teams. He used to have a striker card. He used to be gold. He used to be a god. No longer. Lucas Podolski, another one, used to have like I think he had like 87 pace. I think in like three FIFAs ago. EA have just absolutely destroyed his pace. He is one year younger than me. He is 29 years old. He's still got three or four or five good years left of football in him and EA have destroyed his card and now he just never, ever, ever gets used in any FIFA team I've ever seen. Mural's an interesting one for me because he's still got four star, four star. He's still got really good pace and dribbling and for a silver card, he's got really good shooting. A lot of people on Twitter suggested him as a player that they used to love using that they never use anymore and it surprises me because his card is still really, really good. Uh, we've got Didier Drogba, another fa fan favourite that used to be used. We've got Mykon. Do you guys remember when he was at Man City? He used to be an absolute beast. His team of the season card uh, the year before was one of the best in the game. Uh, Yunus Kabul, another player. He Yunus Kabul was a non-rare, never gets used. When Yunus Kabul was a rare card, even though he has near identical stats, was always used. It's crazy how the shiny and the non-shiny dictates whether or not people use the card. Onto the team, guys, we've got Julio Cesar in net. Used to have an 87 rated card. Was one of the only goalkeepers I could really find that kind of had a really, really good card and has dropped. Obviously, Buffon would be one of those as well, but I went with Julio Cesar. In defense, we've got Glenn Johnson and Mika Richards. The reason why I've got for these guys is because they used to be two right backs in the BPL, which they're now, again, right backs in the BPL that used to have unbelievable pace and really good defensive stats and now they have average average pace i know johnson has a lot there because we i put an attributes card on him but richards as well four years younger than me mike mika richards 26 years old and he's for some reason got 79 pace now instead of probably like the 85 or 86 that he deserves crazy felipe santana another one of those defenders santana and dede the center back who is again not in fifa this year used to have unreal unreal amounts of teams built around them like your go-to center back pairing would be Santana Dede with Julio Cesar in goal it was crazy it was cheap but Santana for some reason no longer gets used Darren Bent another one who used to have a gold card with blistering pace 
Gabiag Bondhor, again like Muriel, used to have a gold card, used to be like a thousand coins. I guess now because he's silver and he's a bit more expensive, people don't use him as much as they did when he was gold. But he's still got really nice stats. 90 pace, 80 physical, good dribbling, good shooting. Don't really understand why he doesn't get used as much anymore. Hatton Ben Arthur on the wing, another player used to have, I don't know, has he still got five star skills? He doesn't really get used much anymore. He used to be like a go-to right wing for the BPL when he had like 83 or 84 pace. It's crazy how just four pace points can like uh, kind of get people from using him all the time to never using him again. On the left wing, another surprising one for me. A lot of people on Twitter said that they always used to use El Shirawi and now they never use him, which I don't get because he's got nice pace and dribbling. He's got four star, four star. He plays in good leagues. Both his leagues are good uh, for good clubs. He's got nice shooting and passing. I think the only distinctive factor of people not using him anymore is that he's now no longer a silver five star skiller, but he's a gold four star skiller in a different position, whereas he used to have a striker card or a cam card that people would put to striker. Now he's out on the left wing, not really used as much anymore. Up front, guys, we've got a trio. We've got Samuel Etu, of course. Last year had 91 pace. You could pick him up for like a thousand coins and was an absolute god. He's still got a really nice card this year. Um, just not what people are looking for. Like, he's got really well-rounded stats. Good shooting, good dribbling, good physical, good passing. It's just his pace is a little bit lacking. Then we've got the two strikers, guys. Antonio Di Natale, up till last year, he had like, what, 84 or 85 or 86 pace. EA absolutely crushed his pace this year. They must have looked at him, oh, he's over 30, we forgot. Let's bring his pace down, because that's what they seem to do. So Dina Tyler used to be an absolute go-to striker who just never gets used this year. And last but not least, you got uh, Mario Balotelli, who hasn't lost much by way of ability in terms of his pace or his shooting or his skill moves. He's got, he's got a very similar card to last year. The reason why he doesn't get used this year is because the game has changed. So in FIFA 14, wing cross head was all it was about. You cross it to Balotelli 10 times out of 10 and he's going to score six of them with headers because heading was so broken and so OP last year. This year, the fact that it's not OP kind of renders Balotelli a little bit useless. He is actually a very good player in his game, but I've built this team here, guys. I know this video is getting on along uh, a little bit there. I built this team around the fallen heroes. I'm going to go into a game with it against my better judgment, but because they're fallen heroes, I want to bring them back to their uh, to their natural habitat. So we are going to smack on a training card on absolutely all of these fallen heroes to bring them back to the glory days of FIFA and see if we can't go out and get ourselves a nice victory with an absolutely shocking team. Obviously, it's going to be a bit easier when we're using attribute cards. Eto is going to have a lovely car. Oh, look at that. Back up to 91 pace, guys. That's what we like to see. Mario Balotelli should be in the high 90s everywhere. And Di Natale as well with a really nice card there. So this is the team we're going to play with. Let's get into a game. Okay, guys. Today's opponent has an 82 rated team with 98 chem. He's got Sturridge, Navas, Coutinho, Abu Diaby, Sarko, Klein and Howard down the right-hand side with Godin, Felipe Luis. Uh, is that... I want to say Gabby. Is that Gabby? Probably got the centre midfielder wrong. I think it's Gabby. And then uh, um, Rodriguez at left wing. Let's see what we can do with these fallen heroes and see if we can pick ourselves up a win. Yep, there we go. Had Bonlahor at CDM. Who knew? Who knew? Oh, it's easy. Chip through ball. One, two, three, four, five. There it is. What am I counting for? I don't need... I was chip through ball one, two... Where did 3-4-5 come? Who cares? Mario Ladatelli with the goal. Lovely little one-two chip through ball there. Bang. Picks it back up on the vo half volley. Scores a goal. 1-0. Go on there, Ballo. Just smash it. Just ping it. Sometimes you just got to ping it. Sometimes you just got to ping it. We're, we're, we're putting the pressure on here. We're putting a little bit of hurt on. We're just not managing to quite get that uh, that goal. There it is. There it is. El Shirawi. Lovely finish. Lovely finish. He's not going to miss those, especially with an attributes card. He is not going to miss those. Nice little corner technique worked again. If you guys want to know how to do that corner, there is a video on my channel explaining exactly how. It's pretty pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple. But 2-0, El Shirawi and Balotelli with the goals. The Italians linking up. All right, we're starting to create a little bit of a uh, little bit of space here. Oh, Ballo, I love that. Oh, I love that. Oh, this is just nice. This is just nice. Oh my god, what a fucking strike! What a lovely well-worked goal, but what a strike from El Shirawi with a finesse shot of dreams. That takes me back to FIFA 10 days, that does. A finesse shot from a place that you just wouldn't try shooting from unless you have Marco Royce. What a lovely strike, what a lovely goal. It hits the inside of the netting, and El Shirawi is doing work. Ballo. 
but I don't fucking have it. Let's try another one. Let's try another one. Oh, that should be four. Etu, easy goal, easy life. Samuel Etu. Yo, Di Natale needs to get involved here because we're 4-0 up now. We're taking the piss a little bit out of this guy. Um, Howard with a good save. Etu chests it in. Got to be honest, that's the first chest goal I've scored this year. Yeah, let's go Ben Arthur. I see you. Boom. Boom. I see the run inside. El Shereri, can he get the hat trick? Yes, he can. Lovely work goal again. El Shereri from that left mid position comes in big with a great hat trick. Wait, is that his hat trick? It is his hat trick. He scored two finesse shots. Look at that. He takes a touch. Boom. One touch, one shot. Three goals. Oh, it's gone just wide. And that, guys, is probably going to be full time as well. We have played a great game with the fallen heroes of FIFA. We've got five goals. Couldn't really advance too much on from the four goals in the first half, but five goals with the fallen heroes of FIFA. Of course, it was made a little bit easier by the fact that we had attribute cards everywhere, but it wasn't perfect chemistry. We had uh, players wildly out of position. Darren Bent and Gabby Agbonlahor is my two CDMs, classic stuff. Um, Stefan El Shirewi with... Uh, with a hat trick and a fantastic hat trick at that. That finesse shot that he scored for his second goal was just magic. We ended up scoring a hat trick, one for Etu, one for Balotelli, and some uh, some nice assists there from Etu again, Di Natale and Santana. So guys, that was the Fallen Heroes of FIFA. If you enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.